Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after a much failed modding experiment, I'm going to take this GWM5610MD and try and modify that into a AliExpress mod kit bracelet. So join me and let's see if we can get success. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of weeks ago, I tried to mod this GWM5610MD. Uh, it's a multi-band six tough solar digital square. Kind of liked it, got it cheap on buy.com, and I wanted to mod that into a steel bracelet and failed miserably. And that could be due to a lower quality kit. It could be due to the fact that I am inept. It could be due to the fact that the model number didn't actually match up. It looked like it did. So I abandoned that project in a very frustrating kind of measure. But I didn't want to leave it there. I still had a good module. I didn't want to waste it. So I went out and I bought a new modding kit from AliExpress. Uh, this one, a little bit better looking we'll have a look what's in there but uh, I haven't really gone too much but the one thing which I am feeling confident about is they at least have the G-Shock term and the, the protection on there so I'm hoping this one might be a little bit better I do also have another one up the sleeve I want to go and do uh, this one is for a GAB2100 uh, so everybody talks about the Cassie Oaks I'm going to give that a go um, I am currently watching another auction on Bai for another version of this, the Caution Yellow. I want to give that Caution Yellow a go with a yellow strap and a nice uh, set with maybe XKX mod. So we'll give that a go as well. But for now, let's try and mod the current uh, little module with the improved band. Okie dokie. So here we are. We have our module uh, that we're going to go ahead and actually use. And this is the kit that came from AliExpress. So if we just open it up, we have a toucan, which I'm not too sure what the significance is of the toucan. Maybe we'll keep it there for good luck. We have our pins, and we know the history I have had with some of these pins. They're pretty tricky. There's the face. A bit of glare there, but Hopefully that would come into focus. Now I've got to learn how to use a camera, but we've got G-Shock on the bottom and we've got protection on the top, which I is similar to what we typically see. And then we've got the bracelet and the bracelet nicely says G-Shock on it as well. Underneath, do we have anything? Nope, that's, that's kind of it. Maybe we'll keep that around just to give us some added uh, support. So we've already got this out from before. We just need to take this out and I guess we need to start to assemble. Uh, we need to take off the plastic from these guys. So let's do that. Hopefully it should be a fairly simple process. We'll just go and unwrap this. I don't want to use the knife if I don't have to because I'm just very anxious to scratch up the face. But as it is, it's not going to go. Okay, maybe you can see that a little bit better. Nope. Focus is not a good thing here. But it does say G-Shock protection. Oh, there you go. That's even better. So what we want to do is to have this on top of here. That looks pretty cool. We just need to put that on. But first, I'm thinking we need to try and put the bracelets on. So let's try and do that. All right, let's try and take this apart. I got my knife. So let's just get into that ever so gently.
Okay, both sides done. So that's looking pretty good. Now we just need to work out how we put that onto there. We also need to find out if it's going to be the right size. So we'll take off the watch I'm using here. Let's have a quick look in terms of sizing. Oops. So we could probably stand to take a few off. Maybe we'll take two off each side here. So this might be the same as last time where we need to sort of push out the pins and then uh, try and adjust. So let's try and do that. We need a pin pusher, which will be this one. And let's count from the middle here. So we'll leave those two there. And we'll push this one in. It seems to come out a little bit easier than the last one. Or maybe I'm just a little bit more aware of how to make it work. That's one out. Put that to the side. And then we'll take this one out. Okay. Two out from there. t-shirt rub never goes wrong that's gonna go on there like that but before we do I think we need to definitely go and put this on here first now, this is where we went wrong last time. These things are not my friend. So we've got one. So we've got these screws. And we've got these guys. As they say, this is where the fun begins. Oh my god, that's on. easy now this one this might be trickier because of the, the loop back here but let's see quicker as we've ever got. Cameras are shaking, the world's shaking. It's exciting. 
Okay. Let's go with the top on there. Now we just need to screw these guys together. Gosh, I think we've got it. Let's have a look. Moment of truth, as they say. Oh, 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 that is a glorious fit. That is awesome. Last bit. The G Shock brand is on there. That is cool. I finally made myself a proper modded digital square. And it looks superb. Digital square, all done. Looking glorious. I love it. Well, honestly, I'm shocked. That was very straightforward. I mean, we fast forward through a few of the the scenes there to get through because you yeah, obviously it wouldn't be me fiddling too much but we are literally on with the watch uh, i wish i could make autofocus work but there we go that is the watch we've taken a white uh gw m5610 md and we've used a very dark metal uh bracelet feels super light it feels it, i mean it feels metal it feels rock solid but it has a lot of lightness to it, so it doesn't really weigh you down. It's a very well done watch. I mean, I'd, I'd love to know if it's legit titanium. If it is, it's, that's kind of cool, but at that price, I don't know. But putting it on, it feels good. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I could take out one more bracelet, but that might make it uneven. But it actually feels pretty good on the wrist, right? It's got that nice sort of black, black feel. It's got the uh, the green light. I know I'm not going to be able to show it very well, but no, it's not going to come up very clearly because we're in a welded area. But that's the watch on the metal bracelet. I'm quite happy with this particular watch. I think it's worked out very, very well. I'm going to be very happy to go ahead and actually wear this. In fact, maybe I'll go ahead and actually wear it tomorrow to the office just to uh, show it off but there you have it we have done a successful mod with a digital face and come up with something which I think actually looks pretty uh, pretty decent and while that was going on I happened to notice that I won the auction for a caution yellow uh, watch which uh, we'll make sure that, that uh, we'll do a mod on that one I do want to try out the mod first on an octagon one for this one We'll take this one and make this one uh, modded up uh, and make that happen first. But yeah, project successful. There we have it. A modded digital square on a so-called titanium wrist. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.